Sleep apnea, you may not even know you have it. What would you do if someone told you you stop breathing in your sleep dozens of times a night? Most people don't know if they do this and the health effects are serious. Heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, depression, memory loss, acid reflux, mental confusion, and weakened immunity have all been linked to sleep apnea. I'm Dr. Gurgis with Definitive Dental in Grand Prairie, Texas, known for dentistry done right. You can see why sleep apnea is serious, but how do so many people not know they have it? And what is it doing to your health? I'm going to help you figure out if this is you and how to treat it. But there are several signs that can clue you in. If you snore, that's a good indicator you have obstructive sleep apnea. The tongue falls back and blocks the airway, causing you to snore and making it harder to breathe. If you frequently feel fatigued throughout the day, easily fall asleep reading or watching TV, even after getting seven or more hours of sleep, this is another good indication that your sleep quality is poor, potentially due to apnea. Sleep apnea occurs when other indicators such as high blood pressure, body mass index over 26, and a neck size greater than 17 inches. Teeth grinding, as seen by the flattening of your teeth, is also very common with apnea. If you have several of these indicators, have a conversation with your doctor or dentist. They'll recommend a sleep test, often at a sleep lab, while you're aware of a device that will measure the quality of your sleep. It will also measure the number of apnea events and the duration that you stop breathing. You also have a score assigned from mild to severe, and they will send you to get fitted for a CPAP. You're all familiar with those, the mask with the hose and the noise. In solving one problem, you create another with the headache of this device. There are a dozen reasons why people hate these machines and can't tolerate them. They're loud, obtrusive, claustrophobia inducing, uncomfortable, and a little embarrassing. If you can tolerate it, it's definitely worth the improvement in sleep and the energy and vitality that comes with correcting the apnea. The good news is that there is an alternative. Most people don't realize that dentistry has revolutionized the process to better sleep and through sleep appliances. Your dentist is often the best position to screen for sleep apnea. We check your blood pressure, we know if you grind your teeth, and we definitely notice when you fall asleep in the chair. At our office, we've improved the whole process, including the sleep test. We have a sleep test device that you can borrow and use in the comfort of your own home. We forward the results to a licensed sleep physician for proper diagnosis, who will determine if a dental sleep appliance is appropriate for you. If you have severe sleep apnea, a CPAP may still be the best treatment for you. Otherwise, mild to moderate sleep apnea can be treated here in our office. There are different styles of sleep devices, but the mechanism is the same. They work to prevent the tongue from blocking the airway by advancing the lower jaw. It's such a simple fix. No tubes, no hoses, no masks. We will have you do another sleep test about four weeks later to see how much better you're sleeping, but you'll start noticing a difference almost immediately. You'll have better sleep, more energy, and generally feel better. Now you have the knowledge, it's time to take responsibility. Whether you have a CPAP and didn't know there were alternatives, or have been suffering from sleep apnea for years and never connected the dots, give us a call and take the next step. We'll guide you through the process to make it easy and convenient. With the five-star service you know and expect, reach out to us if you'd like more info or to set up an appointment. As always, hit that like button and subscribe. Follow us on social and let us take your smile to new heights.